Bernier and I am the founder and CEO of Skill Crush and I would like to welcome you to Skill Crush TV where I give you the tools, resources, and answers that you need in order to build a career in tech. Recently, Skill Crush alumni Hannah Marie confided in us and she said, I really, really, really want to do something useful with my technical skills. And by useful, I mean change the world. While financial freedom is important to me, it's not enough to motivate me to keep going. I know I want to learn more code, but my mind is resisting it until I have a solid idea of what I want to create with my knowledge and skills. Well, Henry, when you first start learning a new skill, it's easy to just blast forward because you're so excited about learning something new. But what do you do when the going gets a little bit tough and you need a little bit of motivation? Don't worry, because I've got three steps that will get you back on that code learning bandwagon. Step number one, stop trying to come up with a solution and instead just work on identifying a problem. It's awesome that you want to learn to code for more than just learning's sake and that what you want to do with that skill is put that skill to use doing something good in the world. But the problem with that approach is that it's really hard to come up with something awesome to do on command. And that's because what you're focused on is coming up with a really awesome solution when what you should be focused on is trying to identify a problem that really needs to be solved. For example, when I started Skill Crush, I didn't know exactly what Skill Crush was going to become. Instead, what I identified was that a lot of code learning resources online were somewhat unfriendly and a little bit hard to understand, and that was a problem that I wanted to solve. And I bet that once you identify a problem, solutions are just gonna start pouring out. Step number two, start with a small solution. Now, I don't know if you're gonna pick a small problem or a big problem, but either way, the first step needs to be starting with something small to address that problem. Once you've identified a problem that you wanna solve, I want you to brainstorm a whole bunch of solutions and then break those solutions into the smallest bits that you can. Now, let me use Skill Crush as an example once again. Once I identified the problem, which is that a lot of code learning resources weren't that friendly or fun, I set out for a solution. Now I had a million big ideas about what kind of solution I could offer, but what I started with was something small, a daily email that defined a tech term in a fun and interesting way. What this allowed me to do is start getting feedback and interacting with my users right away, which both helped me stay motivated and figure out exactly what it was that those people needed. I could never have imagined that Skill Crush would grow to the size that it is today, but that's the beauty of starting small and taking it one step at a time. Step number three, just ship it. Or as I like to say, F it, ship it. One of the most important things for you to remember is that code is a communication medium. That means that you've got to use it to communicate with other people. One of the most exciting things about building websites is that you can share with other people, people all over the world, and start getting feedback on how to improve it. Seriously, that instant feedback and the ability to iterate and improve something over time is one of the most incredible aspects of the internet, and it's super motivating. To go back to the Skill Crush example one last time, how do you think it is that Skill Crush went from having an email newsletter to having online classes where thousands of students learn how to code? That's because that's what our customers asked for. And we would never have known to design the classes as they currently are designed if we hadn't had customer feedback at every step along the way. Okay, coders, now tell me, what problems are you passionate about solving? And what ideas do you have about a possible solution? I want you to tweet this. Coding isn't just about the code. It's about using code to solve real and important problems. And as always, if you have any questions, please email me because I love answering user questions. You can reach me at hello at skillcrush.com.